full episode of this podcast can be seen for free. Click the link in the bio chat. Let's get it. By the way, while we're here. Yo, before we get started, we got to give a big shout out to DJ Academics for getting the interview of the century. All right. He got Lil Dirk on the podcast and he was actually able to ask him the questions that a lot of people actually want to know. And, you know, I think he did a pretty good job. So big shout out to him. Now, let's go ahead and break this down. Clearing shit up. Could you, could you at least, you got to give me some clarity, right? Because I think you're like, have you played chess before or no? I don't even know how to play chess. But maybe mental chess. Because I think there's, you know, there's a lot of confusion. Dirk definitely know how to play chess, all right? Because he's been playing chess his whole career. And that's why he often, that's why he's been coming out on top lately. There's people that believe that somehow me and you co-opted or concocted some issue or a way to like use another artist, and I'll say the artist's name, NBA Youngboy, for promo. And recently, I was just bombarded with, you know, that's a guy who I've, you know, me and you before on the phone, we've talked one time. Yeah. Man, we've talked a lot of times, you know what I mean? Somebody who I felt I knew. Can I ask you one question? I won't, yeah. Doing this, pro, doing this album promo, which I ain't even really promo yet. What type of promo did I say his name or get from him? That, that's a good point. But so I, Lil Durk is basically saying, how am I using NBA Youngboy as promo? I ain't said this dude name or anything. But DJ Academics is going to really get into that, though, because it's like, you ever feel like somebody is doing something and they know what they doing? They know what they doing, but, you know, they be like, hey, I ain't doing nothing. That's what DJ Academics is really about to get into. I feel like he feel, he feels you're poking a bear. You say he's. That's his, that's, his, that's his problem. What's y'all issue, though? Like, because honestly, like, I feel like I, like, now it's so, I feel like I got to be, like, no disrespect, I obviously can't be Mr. Louis Farrakhan in terms of trying to solve something, but if, if it is something that could be ever solved. I'm just reading, you go ahead, talk, I'm just reading. If there's something that could ever be solved, or if there's something that you guys could ignore each other, because not everything could be solved. And why don't we trust? That answer right there was basically like, listen, it's it's always going to be an issue because of King Vine. You said what? What's the issue with you and young boy? Like, how did it start? I, because this is I, I really, I'm going to be honest with you. I really don't. I really no. don't know. I don't know. Cause what you do? You've met him before. What did you do for me to be in tour with you? Like the world thing. Diss songs back and forth. Cool. I think he's mad. I think there's two things that he thinks. But you keep saying he. Well, I mean, a lot is his perspective, right? Because it's a reason why recently he at you in a tweet. No, you're right. Go ahead, because you you know. You yeah, know. he's at you in a tweet. He's 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 basically now for. What? Lil Durk is basically saying what for everybody to say that we have all this animosity towards each other and that I have a problem with this guy. What did he, what did he do? He's basically saying he didn't do anything. He did nothing for us to have these issues that everybody's claiming that we're having. He's, he basically says you're either number one scared of him or number two, Scatter who? Scatter who? Quote, quote, using him for promo. Well, him. Scatter who? For what? NBA young boy. What'd he do? What? <laughs> you don't even know. All right. No, no. All right. All right. Let, me, let me get to the bottom. No, listen. The whole situation that happened listen, man, with, with Quan, though. How, how we live and how, how we go by our shit. And I'm, I'm speaking for the whole Chicago. You ain't there. Shut the fuck up. You weren't there. So you made a diss and said something about Vaughn. That's why. That's why I don't fuck with you. You ain't did you. You did zero. In reality. 
Now, I hear a lot of people saying, well, if that's your logic, then how can you be dissing the people that you be dissing where you wasn't allegedly there either? You know, I see a lot of people saying that. But, you know, and Lil Durk is saying, hey, listen, NBA Youngboy wasn't there. He didn't do anything. Um, he wasn't even there that night, but he started, you know, he started saying this is. So, you know, it could be a certain type of thing where Lil Durk is probably looking at this like, technically y'all are outsiders, right? So he probably don't look at it the same as people he's actually beefing with in his own city back in Chicago where they didn't all grew up around each other. They all, you know, a lot of them was cool at one point until they wasn't. So he could be looking at it like that, like, dude, you a whole outsider. This really ain't have nothing to do with you. You didn't do anything. So when people say, well, Lil Dirk didn't have anything to do with so-and-so um, getting popped or so-and-so, um, he didn't knock off so-and-so, but he still be dissing them. It could be, to you know, he could be looking at it from two totally different dynamics. It just happened the way it happened. Like it didn't had it didn't have nothing to do with age and none of that shit. It just Vaughn put the floor Vaughn put the Floyd Mayweather on the motherfucker. And that bad happened. That's a different situation. His situation, what did he do? What well, what did young boy do for 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 everybody want me and him think we kill, want to kill each other. Okay, I, I'm I'm giving. And by the way, I know the, the new young boy fans to be wild. I'm not representing his opinion. I'm telling you what I think is his opinion. I think that because of that incident, which was very unfortunate at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Like it, it's changed everybody's lives irreparably. Yeah, that shit, that shit, that shit, fuck, that shit, fucked everybody up, but. When a real get, when a real gangster, you know what I mean? When a real gangster get took out by like a like a nerd type. Well, 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 I think that's also his opinion too, right? I think his thing is that obviously now he's talking about little um little Tim, basically called little Tim a nerd. You know. I can't necessarily um necessarily say that little Tim was a nerd. I mean, this is the thing. Everybody who's on the outside looking in is going to say Lil Tim did what Lil Tim was supposed to do when you got some people jumping on your homie. He got his whole clique behind him. You know, he wasn't, everything happened within a split second. And, you know, Lil Tim had the attitude of, I got to try to make sure that me and my homie make it up out of this. I don't even know if Lil Tim knew it was King Von that Quando was fighting. You know, we don't know. But Lil Tim seen his homie getting whooped because Von was whooping him. Von was definitely putting those hands on him. And that's another reason why they say people don't fight no more. Because King Von was fighting. He didn't pull out no strap or anything. Now he was like, nah, I'm going to just whoop you. I'm going to put these hands on you. And then he ended up getting popped by trying to fight so when people be like, why don't people fight no more? There's reasons like that. Because oftentimes when people do decide to fight, you know, somebody else ain't about to fight anything. They about to pull out and stop uh, and start popping. More people love Juan, but, you know, in that situation, which is a street situation, it's a real situation. Like, it, but, but I think you can't, think that anybody would have done the same thing. Okay, I, I forgot. This, this two thousand. What, what year this is? Twenty twenty three. It's two thousand twenty three. I forgot. The internet run the world. Because if you ask a motherfucker, what did you do? What did he do to Vaughn? I feel Lil Dirk was talking directly to NBA young boy. Like when he looked at the camera like that, he was like, "What did you do?" Okay, cool. So why are you taking, why are you taking full responsibility like you just like this on the bar? I think he's carrying it on his shoulders because he's feeling that his career sales. Well, well no, I, th I think he feels like his career, Quando's career, has been affected because Quando's a little boy. 
Well, I mean, that's the song. I used, I used to have, I used to have him. I used to have him like this. You mean Guano? Saying fuck sixty third, me and Vaughn. Yeah, there's video of this. Google it. No, no, I ain't having in here. Like, oh yeah, but I'm yeah. telling like, we the same off as saying fuck sixty third. So we don't bring hate. You know what I'm saying? It's just to a point where everybody think they gotta choose sides. I'm a, my bad. Yeah. It's just to a point where everybody think they gotta choose sides. But that's how the, the club house is the. But are you carrying it like that? Be honest, because because I I, I, I don't feel I don't, ever since I, don't then, I really don't care like that. Like he says he's blackballed, and also because of people me? who might be, you know, well, young boy. He, if I'm saying he's I'm blackballed. No, no, he's blackballed. And you I, know, that's the rumors that be going around that Lil Durk be blackballing everybody, and that's the reason why other people in Chicago can't really get on. You know, if you ain't with if you ain't down with OTF, they like Durk will blackball you. Um, they saying that Dirk is black by uh, black ball NBA young boy, and Dirk pretty much you know he said, "Listen, I ain't black balling nobody, but if you rocking with somebody, you know who then took out my partner, I just can't rock with you." But he said he ain't going through no extra efforts or anything to black ball anybody. And I think That's it probably it. feels like it's favoritism. Like he went off on me simply thinking that your quote unquote industry friends, which I guess he lumped me into. He's like, well, your industry friends are hating on me or maybe me and Quando. So because of that one incident that he's looking at. Do he got the biggest influence in the world? I mean, like, do he got, like, young boy, do he got the, do he got the big influence to the, in the generation? No, he has a big influence, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. He can call and, and do songs with people he wants to with, right? Well, not everybody. He just rapped in a new new song. He said, he said. Drake turned him down. That probably hurt his feelings. Clearly hurt his feelings. He rapped about it. Are are you calling around to the industry saying, yo, if y'all fuck with young boy, we're done. And and I'm going to ask you that, especially because there's another situation. If you fuck with anybody that harm my people, I can't fuck with you. I'm not into it with you. Like, if I see you, I ain't saying, like, I'm from the, I'm from the kill. This, this nigga, he fuck. I just ain't gonna fuck with you. But that's facts. That is completely understandable. You know, that's how people be getting backdoored and everything. Dirk, like, listen, man, if you rock with them, you can't rock with me. It's music, though. And, and, and they might, they might no, feel like not, they have a pick a side. No, it's not music. It's Vaughn. Because that's the whole what the whole situation about. Yeah. So it's not music. It's Vaughn. He like, it's deeper than music, homie. My twin got laid out. Like, this is deeper than music. Like, that's why he said he stopped that immediately. Like, look, man, it's not just music. It's Vine, bro. It's not like no no street fight or a motherfucking thing where it'd be like, man, y'all squash that shit. So, it's, small somebody says, I, for example, the baby. He does a tape with him. I'm pretty sure he has no negative feelings towards you, towards. You know Vaughn. I think everybody loves Vaughn, right? Yeah, I never put I, I I never put the baby in in it. Mm, okay. I DM'd the baby and told him, I'm like, hey fam, I'm like, whatever you got going on, y'all doing the tape. I'm like, that's y'all. You feel me? That's when the other bullshit came out. Oh man, my fuck throwing the white flag in my DM. Who? No, that's what he supposedly supposed to say. Okay, okay. Uh, when he was arguing with somebody afterwards. But okay. this was before. Like, it was recently. What was that? We was on uh, Future Tour. Um, they were like, the baby here. Uh, ask him. Ask him, my, ask him yourself. Call him. I put him in a room. Like, no, no, no. Come here. I was like, check it out, buddy. I'm like, look. That small shit. That little shit. Let's get to the money. Like, you see what they trying to do to you. You see what they trying to. We don't have no beef. We don't have, like, Why? Yeah. I don't give a fuck because you did a, a album with that man. That shit sold how much? That was that definitely sound like a sneak diss. He's like, I ain't worried about that. How much? How much did that sell? I do remember that album didn't do too good though. Although it had a few, it had some pretty good songs on that album though. But as far as sales wise, it didn't do too good. It seems like um, 
Atlantic Records was just trying to throw something together and was like, I don't even know where that collaboration came from. The baby and NBA young boy seemed like they was just like, Hey, do something together. Like, it, like it's what I'm saying. This shit about so you're not caring it like that. Then. So you don't, you don't care if, if like a rapper collaborates with them. I don't give a fuck. I just, I just ain't gonna fuck with you no more. Cause it's death behind it. So you wouldn't fuck with the baby no more. With the baby? Yeah. See the baby, the baby situation was a little different cause we chopped it up before okay. it went there. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Excuse me. So when we chopped it up um, in the DM, it was more so like a, we already handled it. Then when I seen them again, it was just like a, yeah, yeah. Good. It's like we don't have a problem with nobody, man. We don't want to smoke with nobody. I don't want no problem with nobody. Yo, y'all definitely need to go check out um Academic's page. He got uh, multiple clips going on. And like you can watch the whole thing on Spotify. So make sure you definitely go check that out. But this is definitely a dope interview. I feel like it gave a lot of insight on to, you know, just things that people wanted to know because you know little Dirk don't say much so for him to get this interview and for Dirk to actually be asked answering the questions like he ain't really dodging anything now I read it if you feel like you know he's you know if he's trying to act like it ain't as big as it is or whatever the case may be then like he said in this interview you know that's like a personal issue pretty much but y'all go ahead let me know what y'all think about this Leave your like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And remember, no matter what's going on in life, the facts remains the same. There's no game but tie game.